Hey folks, it's Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. I have a different kind of video today, and this is something I don't usually do. Uh, I am promoting something today, but it's uh, something for a very good cause. So um, I done a video a while back about a group that we have started uh, with some of our church family and uh, it's kind of a barter and trade group and kind of a community, maybe you would call a MAG, uh, Mutual Assistance Group. Uh, as a matter of fact, the name of our group is uh, MAG7. And um, just a few of us from our church and our church is uh, kind of supporting us also in some of the things we're doing. Uh, it started with our Sunday school leader, uh, Sunday school teacher. And um, so uh, I will post that video in the link below. At the end of this video, you will see that video come up in the corner um, and you can watch a little bit about uh, getting a group together. And uh, when, I, when I done that video, we had just been talking about doing it and now we've actually done it and uh, we just kind of have a, a group, a small group uh, that we are just um, helping each other, trying to learn to barter and trade with each other and that kind of thing. And um, we decided to do, be, be it all being from um, the same church, we decided to do an outreach with our, in our group. Uh, and, and with our church, our church is, is helping back some of it. Um, what we're doing is <clears throat> called Buckets and Bibles. And uh, so what we're doing is getting five gallon buckets and putting some food and necessities in there and a Bible. Now our church is providing the Bibles, but we are doing a few fundraisers to help uh, put the food and supplies in there. And uh, so the first fundraiser that we have started doing, besides buying some ourselves, some of us have, have already bought things for the buckets, uh, but uh, we are starting out with 25 buckets. And uh, we're also gonna do, we're also gonna do some blessing bags uh, that will just be a smaller, for a, for a single person, um, immediate help, you know, for a single person that will also have a Bible and a few supplies, smaller amount of supplies in there. A uh, bucket might be for a whole family and a bag might be for just an individual that we come across that needs um, a little, uh, you know, something immediate right then. Uh, maybe some pop tops of food with a spoon in there or a spork or whatever, um, that kind of thing. And definitely all of them will have a Bible in there. Like I said, the church is supplying the Bibles. So uh, we're just doing the fundraisers for the supplies that are gonna go in there with the Bibles. Uh, so our first um, fundraiser that we are doing is the Rata Knives. And if you've seen people do the Rata Knife fundraisers, you know that these are great knives. They are made in the USA. Um, they are just wonderful knives. Also, I didn't know they had other stuff in the back. They have other things in the back besides knives. Um, they have uh, like cheese ball things and a few pots and pans and utensils and uh, different things. Uh, but the knives are awesome. Now, first off, I want to show you, uh, I had, let's see which one I had, this one. I had a couple of knives from them that my dad had years ago, and I don't know where he got them. He may have got them from a fundraiser also. They've been uh, doing this for 75 years. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's their 75th anniversary. So they've been doing this for 75 years and somewhere years ago, my dad got a few and he had a ham slicer or a slicer and a paring knife. 
And I have loved this paring knife ever since my dad passed, I've gotten these. And this paring knife I have used so much and it has stayed sharp. Now I have sharpened it a few times, but it sharpens quick and stays sharp a long time. And uh, so I had those two that were from my dad. And um, like I said, I've used this paring knife a lot. And uh, so when we started this, uh, this fundraiser, uh, when our group started this fundraiser a couple of weeks ago, uh, I went ahead and made an order. And I ordered me another paring knife that I thought was a different size, but it's about the same size as the one I already had. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger. But uh, either way, I'm fine with having two of them because they're wonderful. But somebody had also told me about this granny paring knife. It is curved. And uh, a lady uh, at my church said that this granny paring knife was wonderful. And I haven't really used it much yet. I just got them in, uh, I, I got them in right away. I got them in within a week. But, uh, but I, then I went on vacation and uh, I have a video on that too if you wanna watch my vacation video. But uh, anyway, um, there's the little granny paring knife. It's curved. They also have this little knife sharpener and I have already used it on my older, uh, my older paring knife. I went ahead and used this and it took like two swipes and it was sharp as it could be. And I can tell you what happens with me <laughs> when I sharpen my knives and then use them, I seem to always get cut. I get cut so easy I don't know why, but every time I'm peeling or cutting things, I always get cut. But anyway, now I can get cut worse. But uh, it's it's just an easy little uh, little uh, sharpener to use. Very easy to use. Anyway, uh, so if you would like to help out with a very good fundraiser uh, for a good cause, for buckets and Bibles or uh, bags of blessings. Um, we will be doing that. Our group will be uh, putting those together. We're starting with 25 buckets, and I don't remember how many bags we're doing. Uh, someone ordered some of the drawstring bags that uh, can be a backpack. They're kind of the backpack drawstring bags, and uh, someone ordered those. And uh, so we've got to get more Bibles ordered for those. And uh, uh, and then we're going to get, like I said, some of the pop-top foods um, and maybe a few snacks and a spork and put in the bags. And then in the buckets, we will be doing some um, bigger food items um, for like a whole family and uh, like a flashlight and uh, uh, hand wipes and, um, you know, uh, things for an emergency situation. And that's what these will be for, is uh, maybe a homeless person or um, an emergency situation where things have gotten bad, uh, especially, you know, uh, we had an ice storm here uh, years ago in 09. We had an ice storm here and electricity was out for 10 days and, uh, and people were starting to get, uh, you know, a little desperate, and I know we did, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, they would be for things like that, for emergency situations for a family, or the bags of blessings for a, a, a single person, uh, maybe a homeless person we see, and we could get one of those bags and take it to them uh, for an immediate, you know, quick meal and a Bible. And that's probably the most important thing we can do for anyone is to give them a Bible and a word of encouragement, a little love, a little hug, a little, um, you know, pray with them, pray for them, and that kind of thing. And uh, so that's what this is all about. And if you would like to help out with this fundraiser and get a wonderful, wonderful knife. There's also sets uh, in here. They have sets that would be great for Christmas presents. Um, let me show that real quick. And so anyway, um, 
there will be a link in the description below and the link will take you directly to Rata Knife, Rata Cutlery and it will say, do you want to help with the fundraiser for MAG7? And you would say yes. And that's our group, it's MAG7. And so you would um, go into that and order and then we will get a little bit of money off of that for um, a little profit off of that for our fundraiser. Uh, so we would greatly appreciate that. Uh, like I said, I don't normally do stuff like this on my channel, but, uh, but this is important and it's a good fundraiser. It's a good cause. And we would greatly appreciate any help we can get along with you getting something in return, you know, uh, something good made in the USA and, uh, and just uh, all around good products. They have great products. They have all different kinds of paring knives that are wonderful. And these would make great Christmas gifts. If you order, if you order before December 14th, you can get it in for Christmas. Now we will be doing this fundraiser at least until the end of the year, maybe longer, but at least until December 31st, we're gonna do this. But to get it for Christmas, you need to order by before December 14th. Please go check it out. Look for the link in the description below and just go look. And uh, if you can order, that'd be great. If you can't order, just go look and see if there's something you might want or need. And, uh, and in the process of you getting something, you will be helping out um, our, our uh, buckets and Bibles and, bi and bags of blessings. And uh, we would greatly appreciate that. So thank you. Thank you for watching till the end if you did. And thank you if you go and order. Thank you if you just go look. That would be appreciated. So y'all have a great Christmas. And, um, and thanks for watching. And give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe.